Hello and welcome to CompScience Simplified. In this video, we look into the concept of strict mode and try to find out what exactly is the strictness that gets introduced into the code when this mode is enabled. But, before getting into that, you might want to ask a question about why there is a need for a strict mode in the first place. Well, that is because according to MDN, JavaScript is a little sloppy otherwise. While not literally, what it means is that the original language is missing several restrictions which would have been good to have in the first place. And strict mode provides us with those restrictions. If you are convinced about the need to have these restrictions in place, the next question is how to enable them. And the answer is to include this string which says, use strict, in the scope where we want to enable strict mode. If we do it at the top of a file, it gets enabled for the entire file. If we do it inside of a function, it gets enabled only for that function. With that sorted, let us now take a look at some of the restrictions that come into the picture when strict mode is enabled. When we assign values to an undeclared variable, in non-strict mode, the compiler looks for the variable declaration in all the higher scopes till the global scope and if it does not find the variable, it creates one in the global scope. This leads to the pollution of the global scope as the value stays there even after the function has run. On the other hand, if we enable strict mode, then the assignment operation throws an error and no new variable is created in any scope. In non-strict mode, assigning random values to globals that have a special meaning in JavaScript fails silently. This is not good because even though there is no impact of the code, it should get flagged as a wrong practice. And hence, the same will throw a type error when done in strict mode. A similar error is thrown while writing to non-writable properties. For instance, this property on the object is defined with the writable flag as false. And hence, throws an error when we try to write to it. Trying to delete undeletable properties which fail silently in non-strict mode, throws an error in strict mode. Like in this example, we are trying to delete the prototype property on the main object. In non-strict mode, duplicate argument name hides the previous identically named argument by overriding its value. In this example, if the sum function is called with 1, 2 and 3 as the arguments, the value of A gets overwritten with 2 when it is used as the first as well as second argument which in most cases is probably a typo. This may lead to a buggy behavior later in the function. When strict mode is enabled, this argument duplication leads to an error. Also, there are several restrictions on running the eval function in strict mode, but the most important one is that eval in strict mode does not introduce new variables into the surrounding scope. In strict mode, a number that is prefixed with zero is considered to be an error because it gets interpreted as an octal number and can lead to several undesired results. If there is a need to declare octal numbers, then it can be done with this prefix, ES2015 onwards. There are many more restrictions which come along with the strict mode that are not mentioned here. Check the MDN link in the description to get to know all of them. That's it for today's video. See you in the next one.